I keep getting messages and comments from people wanting me to talk about this situation that happened at a mall in Miami. Apparently, there's a lot of rumors floating around online that people were like attacked or they saw like these eight to 10 foot alien creatures terrorizing people at this mall. And there was a crazy police presence. I mean, tons and tons and tons of cops. More cops than I've maybe ever seen almost. So I understand why everyone is looking at these videos that are coming out of all of these cops, this huge police presence, and everyone is like, what in the hell is going on here? Now listen, folks. If you know me, you know I believe in aliens. Boy, oh boy, do I believe in aliens. I've been researching this type of stuff for like ever since I can remember. I fully believe in aliens. I fully believe in all types of possibilities. I think that the possibilities are limitless, you know, in this universe, in this reality. I believe, you know, that there's a possibility that there are alternate realities, alternate dimensions. We talk about aliens and UFOs all the time on this channel, but I've looked into this story and I could not find any indication that there were aliens or eight to 10 foot creatures. I am telling you guys right now, I know a lot of you are like, you don't know what you're talking about. There's aliens out there. Listen, guys, a very, very important list dropped this week, a list that names prior presidents, a list that is naming world leaders, a list that is incriminating some of the most powerful people in this world. You know what the list is. We now know that little kids were forced to have orgies with Stephen Hawking, this weird, creepy looking dude in a wheelchair. Do not, please, for the love of God, do not let these people distract you with this freaking nonsense. I've looked, I've scoured the internet. All of the videos that people are passing around, it's just the same video of all of these police popping up. I've looked into the story. I, I, I'm freaking in Florida. I've looked into the story. There's nothing here, folks. There's no eight to 10 foot aliens. There's a bunch of teenagers, they're running around, they're causing havoc, they're shooting at each other, fireworks are going off, they're fighting, they're breaking into stores. Now listen, folks, I know you're used to seeing these angry mobs, these smashing grabbers going into stores in California, that they're running into stores in New York, they're smashing up the place, they're stealing everything and no one can do anything about it. Well, folks, that does not go down like that here in Florida. I know that society is used to seeing people do whatever they wanna do and there's no repercussions. Things don't happen like that everywhere. So if you wanna smash and grab and shoot and riot and go crazy here in the state of Florida, the police are going to show up. And if it's happening at a mall and there's gunshots are going off, a lot of police are going to show up because, hey, this looks like it could be a mass casualty event. Hey, they're smashing. There's hundreds of teens out here smashing through everything. We're not going to send one or two cops. Send everybody. There's still law and order in some places in America. I know that you see law and order taking place. You see the police actually doing their job and you're shocked. But that doesn't mean that there's something big and crazy here. I understand everyone wants there to be something crazy about this story. But I fully believe that's what they want. They want you all sitting here talking about eight foot, 10 foot creatures at a mall in Miami when we got freaking president's names dropping on lists confirming that they like little girls. Folks, please. Please, I beg of you, do not allow them to do this. I've already been looking through this list. I've been talking about it on X or Twitter. Follow me over there. I can't even really talk about it here on this platform. But don't let them distract you this easily with something this stupid. Please, it's, this is very obviously a PSYOP distraction. 
They took something, something normal. Honestly, these, these mass riots and kids fighting and going crazy and breaking into stuff, this happens every day. They took something like that and they're trying to turn it into this big conspiracy. So you spend all your time looking at these same two videos of police at the mall instead of reading through document after document after document after document, page after page after page, incriminating a lot of the people who run this world. Folks, there was no eight to 10 foot tall aliens at the Miami mall, but there is a bunch of freaking child loving weirdos running this world. And we were right about it all along. We were called conspiracy theorists for talking about this little island and how the world leaders would go do creepy weird stuff to little kids on this island. Well, guess what? It's all been confirmed. All of the conspiracy theories that we were talking about for years, it has all been confirmed this week. And instead of focusing on that, people want to look at a 30 second clip of police at the mall because teenagers are looting the Nike outlet. And don't think for one second that I don't see these big accounts spreading this stuff. These big accounts who have been talking about the list for years, but... When information about the list and the clients start releasing, no one says anything about that. But let's all talk about 10 foot creatures at the Miami mall that no one has any video of. Hell, you don't even really have any first hand accounts of this happening. You just have other people talking about first hand accounts of this happening. First hand accounts that you can't see. It's just everyone really looking at like two little videos of police. Like they've never seen the police before. Folks. I'm all for, I am all for the alien stuff. I'm all in on the alien stuff. I fully believe there's a lot of wild stuff going on. Even when I look at this, yeah, there, there's maybe more to this story. Maybe there's more going on here. There's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that they don't want us to know about. There's been a lot of threats coming in this week to state capitals all over America. There's already been this threat of some big bad attack that's going to happen somewhere sometime soon, okay? So I look at this and maybe police thought there was something more or maybe there is something more. But what we're seeing is the police actually do their job when there's a significant, you know, large group of people wreaking havoc throughout a city, okay? You're seeing the appropriate response, a response that we usually don't see in today's day and age. But do not allow them, please. I know I've already said it multiple times in this video, but don't allow them to turn this nonsense into something it's not and drag, drag you away from the real big story that's out there. It blows my mind that we've been talking about these clients and, and all of this information for so long while it was still considered a conspiracy. But then when they put it on the table right there in front of you, no one wants any part of it. Everyone's act like, 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 why is it more? Why aren't more people talking about that? Why aren't more people focused on this list as opposed to a 30 second clip that came out of Miami of police at a mall? But with that being said, I'm sure some of you all, all are disappointed about this video. But like I said, I've researched it. I looked into it. I don't think there's anything here. I think this is being used as a complete distraction. And even some of the people who I thought were trusted sources, it looks like they're, um, you know, they're promoting stuff like this while ignoring the elephant in the room. But with that being said, if you disagree, if you have any other information that you would like to drop about this, feel free to do so in the comments below. While you're down the, while you're down there, though, if you're feeling generous and you want to donate to the channel, you can do so via Cash App. I'll have my Cash App in the pinned comment or you can donate via Super Thanks or for free. You can help the channel in many ways by liking the video, subscribing, ringing the notification bell, and all of that good stuff. But with that being said, I'll talk to you all very soon in the next one.